Hi Pisces, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody. And that's okay, you can check out one of your other signs if you want. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Alright, so let's see, what are the overall energies for Pisces? For the first half of June. All right, we have third party and we have fresh start. Okay, so third party, as I always say, does not have to be another person. A third party can even be a building, <laughs> as is being shown in this um, image. And usually, okay, it's not going to be the building itself, but what it represents, like work, for example. It could definitely be an addiction. It could be just about anything that stands in the way between two people, all right? Um, we'll see what this is about because we also have fresh starts. So there seems to be something new that is happening here, um, possibly a new way of seeing this third party or a new way of um, handling it. We'll see. Let's get into it. So Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First couple weeks of June 2021. Okay, for the situation, we have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Six of Wands. It feels like this is a fear of loss um, and of what that would represent when it comes to success and what it means to be successful, um, how somebody is being viewed by others. Um, when it comes to having um, lost something, so it could be your, it could be your person. For the recent past, we have the Knight of Swords, and for the near future, we have the Eight of Cups. All right, so there seems to have been a lot of in and out, possibly a lot of restlessness, a lot of action in the recent past. Could be anything. Um, but I do see somebody walking away from a particular situation here. And it could be walking away from a third party. It could be walking away from this need to really feel successful, which could also be related to that third party. Or, you know, sometimes this might not even be exactly successful. It could be showing, you know, how good of a person am I? And that just being um, grounded in the wrong type of a belief system where it's not in alignment with somebody's higher self and with what they truly believe. So let's see, for your energy we have death, for them we have the Six of Swords. More about you is the Page of Cups, for them is the King of Cups, and the potential outcome here is the Six of Cups. Alright, and the message for you is the Empress. Okay, Pisces. So, again, keeping in mind that the roles can be reversed, all right? So, um, for you, I definitely feel like there's a lot of water, first of all, in this, in this reading. So, you might be dealing with another water sign, or maybe even more specifically a Scorpio. You having death in this page of cups, you're feeling like, like this, there's something that is over. You're feeling like something is done. But whatever this is, there's also a lot of emotions at the same time here. And you may have even been expressing these emotions in some way. For them, the Six of Swords and the King of Cups... There's a lot of love here from this person's end, a lot of love that they hold for you, but at the same time, it feels like they're moving away too because you both have an energy of, of either an ending or just moving away from something, and then that's also in the near future. So you know what? Let me just clarify. 
Let me clarify, because this looks very interesting, especially having that Six of Cups as the potential outcome, which does talk about a reconciliation from the past, or at least, you know, a lot of thinking about somebody from the past. Let's see, let's clarify the Five of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. Whatever this ending is, though, there's definitely a new start also, a fresh start associated with it. All right, so we have the Fool, the Lovers, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, it definitely feels like whatever this situation is, whatever this problem is here, it is related, it is it is a barrier to this connection, all right? Because we have the lovers here. This is a very strong connection. There's a lot of feelings here on both sides. I feel like you both are feeling this way actually about each other or about the connection. And it's pretty obvious that somebody here would need to have a fresh start. There's something that would need to be done that would be new. It would be like jumping into the unknown or taking a risk in order to move this forward but even so it wouldn't in, in order for it to move forward it would need to be done in a way that is different than it was in the past and again it feels like this has to do with um the sense of not really being worried about what other people think and not worrying that that you are losing something when it comes to your value as a status or how other people will view you or what is what does it mean to be successful even within your own self okay so this is you or the other person let's clarify death for your energy We have the Two of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the World. Yeah, so you're feeling like something's done, but <laughs> are you really feeling that way? Um, I feel like you are also undergoing a transformation, but this transformation is all about you being able to see something from a new perspective, being able to see it differently so so that you can actually end a cycle, end a chapter, end a dynamic, end a way of being, end a certain belief. Something here is changing, something here is transforming from within you. And I feel like, you know, you, you have a handle on it, it just might feel a little bit challenging and it might feel like, you know, once in a while you just, you just wanna take a step back and try to, to look at it from a different perspective because I feel like it's just a lot on your plate right now. It feels like, it just feels like you're dealing with a lot all at once. Um, it almost feels expedited, even though we have the hanged man, I know. I know because the hanged man is, you know, a little bit of a stalling energy. But like I said, I feel like you take breaks, but, I, but the reason why you need the breaks is because I feel like something is changing kind of fast here. Let's clarify the page of cups. The Nine of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. You know, you you have a lot of emotions though here for somebody. So I don't know if it's the same situation as the one up here. It could be something completely different. But you definitely do have a lot of emotions for a particular person here. And I feel like it is you wanting a new way of doing something or the way that you handle your emotions or the way that you go about expressing them maybe or you know living by them really being being able to stand strong and support what you truly feel um, but this doesn't come easy for you there's a lot of stress associated to that 
it does create some anxiety for you. But I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's actually part of the process. All right, you're beginning to just become more and more in touch with your feelings here. Let's see what's going on with them. Let me clarify the Six of Swords. All right, so they have the Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and Death showing up again. Wow, all right. So they're feeling this transformation too. I feel like this person is actually trying to move away possibly um, for some reason in this connection. Again, roles can be reversed, okay? I cannot stress that enough. Um, I, I feel like I have a lot of cross watchers actually for Pisces. So for some of you, it might, it might even be the other way around. Um, <clears throat> It's like you're you're both actually doing very similar things, just differently, all right? This person is trying to move away. I feel that they're trying to move away from the connection, but not permanently. I feel like it's more of moving away for now because they just feel like either there is so too much pressure on them or, or there is just... Um, Maybe even a responsibility or just, it's just been too heavy. It's just been too much to handle. And so they're trying to move away from this, possibly even trying to accept that there's, there's, um, that there's a possible ending if, you know, they have picked up on that from you. But at the same time, they're still very curious as to what might be going on with you. They want to know what's going on with you. Let's clarify the King of Cups. Because, like I said, I don't feel like this is something um, permanent because there's a lot of feelings here. There's a lot of feelings here. There's a lot of love here. And it just doesn't come across to me as them wanting this to be over. I feel like there's something going on with you. Because it might be that you are kind of holding back here from them. Which is causing them to try to move away from the connection for now. Alright, so clarifying the King of Cups, we have the Knight of Wands, the Devil, and the Three of Cups. Alright, so if there is another um, situation here involved with them, if there's a third party on their side... I do feel like it is something that is toxic, it is something that is unhealthy, there might be an unhealthy attachment there. Alright, but this does not change how they feel, like they still have a lot of emotions for you. If it's the other way around, if this third party, whatever it is, is on your end, then I feel like this person is very much triggered by this by whatever that is, um, really feeling like, you know, this, this, again, this is what is making them want to move away because it makes them a little bit fearful here of what this might lead to. So the love is there, but I feel like this person is just wanting to distance themselves from the connection because they feel like it is unhealthy in one way or another. So let's see this Eight of Cups in the near future. All right, so we have the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. I also had the Knight of Cups flip over here, so I will take it. All right, yeah, see, so there is some kind of a, an emotional detachment here on somebody's end. And I do feel that it's going to be for whoever it was that was, um, that had a negative attachment. So whoever it is that had this third party getting in the way and creating this fear of, you know, some kind of a loss. 
I feel like it is this person who is beginning to detach themselves from that. Whoever it is that was having the unhealthy dynamic going on here. All right, because when we also have the Nine of Pentacles, this is all about being independent. This is about standing firmly on your own feet and being self-reliant and not really giving a shit what other people think. Now, whatever that is, that is leading them to this higher learning, to a higher knowledge, to being more aligned with spirituality, which is also leading to a movement towards love. Okay, so I do see that coming up in the near future. I don't know exactly how it's going to play out, but I see somebody as the first step just actually detaching from an unhealthy situation. And that's why then we have that fresh start. So let's clarify the Six of Cups. And we have the Five of Wands and we have the Emperor. Okay, yeah, so this is somebody really, you know, um, there's, I I really feel like this is a reconciliation here. This is a reconciliation as a possible outcome or at least, you know, really, really thinking about it, okay? Whoever it is that, um, who might have that choice anyway, is really considering moving in the direction of a reconciliation and in order to do that, knowing that they would have to put up a fight standing against others who might be against them or others who might actually put them down for that or might just not be in agreement with that, okay? Whoever that is would need to really be in this um, emperor's energy, really being in control. And I love that, you know, it's finishing off with the emperor here and then even the message for you here is the empress. So that's, you know, like a divine um, couple is the way that I see this. So the message for you here is yes, you know, you can stand in your power, and I feel like the other person can also stand in their power. It's all about dissolving this fear here. And for you, it's all about this healing and allowing yourself to transform. So, yeah, I hope that made sense. Pisces. So if this resonated, let's see what your final oracle message is. All right, and we have the new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. So yeah, there's that fresh start. I feel like things are going to shift in a way where it's just opening up a door for a fresh new start, a new way of being in a particular connection or even concerning another situation that was unhealthy for whoever that is. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. And I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.